G'day everyone, Rod Moore here from Moore Art School, obviously. Um, I was just about to send this little painting here, uh, package it up, and get it ready for posting. It's uh, just been sold to a lady in Florida. It's the second painting of mine that she's bought, and I'm extremely grateful that she has. Um, I really appreciate everyone who buys my paintings. But before I send it off, I just thought I'd talk to you about the framing for it, because I know that some of you who uh, are developing your painting and you're getting better at it, I may be looking at selling paintings and uh, I sometimes get questions from people about how I go about it and the framing, you know, is obviously an important part of that as well. So I just want to do this really quick little video for you, just talking to you about what I do. So this painting here, it's an 8x10, it's an oil painting, uh, it's a little bit of an abstract sort of uh, landscape type painting and um, it's painted on an 8x10 uh, piece of canvas and it's glued to a, a board. And what I did was I found a supplier in Australia who supplies these frames. I got them to you know, make up a special um, frame for me. I've got two different types. So I've got this gold silver one here, which is silvery gold, and we've got the weatherboard white sort of look, which is ideal obviously for seascapes. Now I know the lighting's not that great here, so I do apologize. Um, but hopefully you'll get the gist of what I'm talking about. So yeah, the, the distressed white frame is really good for seascapes and things like that. So I found these guys and um, you know I have to buy them in bulk. So I get a, a fairly large shipment of these uh, frames. Uh, but they come like this glad, you know, glad wrapped, <laughs> wrapped in plastic and uh, so on. So... If you were to buy these retail, then you'd be paying a lot more. But because I buy them in bulk, um, I buy, the, buy them at wholesale. And so he shrink wraps them like this. And I'll just open this one up and show you. And then all I have to do then is just drop in the painting, whatever painting I've sold. And it's a really good little system, right? Because these are easy to package up for sale. Um, so if I take the plastic off, I'll just go and get a knife and show you. Second. So this will be of interest to anybody who's looking at selling their paintings, um, I suspect. But if you have a look on the back, first of all, I've got this little stand here. Um, so it stands up. So it's the right size to have standing on, you know, a mantelpiece or um, you know, any piece of furniture. But on the back, it's got these little uh, flexi points. And you can, you know, I probably don't need a knife for this one. Just open those up. Okay. Like so. And I'll just show you. I'll just, then I can pull that part out and I can drop my painting into the uh, window there, pop it back in, and put those flexi points back in place, and then I can ship it off. Now, I won't pull this one apart because I've just got it ready for shipping, but let me show you the little. Uh, wave painting here, so I'll pop that one out of the way so we can ship that off to Florida. Um, so if we have a look at this one here, let's pop that down and open up these flexi points. Sometimes it breaks my uh, nails off, which is not good, so I use a knife. Okay. So on the back here is the same piece that we were just looking at. Okay, that's the backing board. And then I've got the painting itself on a canvas panel. So the good thing about those is they're really easy to store. Um, you know, if you do a lot of painting, then you can store those up without any problems at all. And then when you've got the opportunity to send it to a buyer, you just take the, the panel and you slip it into the back there like so. Then you take the backing board, you pop that on and you put the uh, flexi points back in place. And then you've got a frame panning. And then what I'll do is put a hanging wire screwed in the back with a wire there, right? Um, and then you've got a painting framed up, ready to go, ready to be shipped. So it's a really fantastic little system that I've got there. Now with this one here, this one isn't on a panel like that. I did that on loose canvas. So what I need to do when I've got it on loose canvas and I find somebody who wants to buy that painting, um, what I do is I then go and get an 8x10 piece of MDF board, which I get the hardware store to cut up, and I get the loose canvas and I just glue it onto that board. So it's effectively the same thing as what you've got here. 
Right, so here I've got the on the panel, that's just a pre-bought panel, right? Um, so I basically what I'm doing is just getting an MDF board and gluing the canvas to the MDF board. Creates the same effect. So that's what I do. And then so what that happens is if you sell your paintings and you ship them around the to wherever your buyers are, it just adds that little bit of extra uh, value to your painting. It looks better when they get it. They can put it straight on the wall straight away. And it's just a better quality product that you're selling to them if selling paintings is part of what you'd like to do. And I recommend that everyone, you know, who's a hobby artist, think about selling their paintings at some level, even if it's just to get enough money to buy more art supplies, right? Um, or buy more training courses or whatever on how to improve your painting. Um, so hopefully that helps. And look, I'm thinking of doing a webinar maybe next week on how to sell your art online. I'm using things like eBay and Etsy and online galleries, you know, things like that. Um, and obviously this framing approach is gonna be part of that. If that's of interest, if there's enough people who think that would be of interest to learn how to sell a, their paintings online, um, maybe not for a fortune, but enough to pay for more art supplies and so on. If you would like to take part in that webinar, just leave me a yes in the comments because uh, if there's not enough interest, obviously I won't, I won't bother doing it. But if there's enough interest, then I'm happy to jump online for an hour next week and we'll do a webinar and I'll share with you the approach that I'm using um, to sell paintings. Because uh, you know, I've sold the, this one on eBay. Um, recently I've sold a painting for 390 on eBay, um, 300 on an online gallery. So I'm getting reasonable prices. And yeah, as I said, I'm not gonna make a fortune out of selling paintings. I, I don't ever expect that to happen. But it's a bit of pocket money to be able to reinvest into buy more art supplies and you know if you're anything like me <laughs> you probably love art supplies and uh, I could buy them all day long so look if you want to if you want me to put the webinar on and share with you some ideas about selling art online just leave me a yes in the comments and uh, if there's enough interest then I'll pop I'll, I'll do it um, if not I hope this little video about framing your paintings has been of value anyway have a great day and I'll talk to you soon cheers